Hey, Saturn, uh, this branch, I, I don't think it's big enough for two lizards. Hey, what are you talking about, Mars? Of course it is. We can share it. Ah, have you ever seen Lion King? What? Long live the king. I regret nothing. Hello, one and all, you wonderful people. I hope 2023 is treating you, well, exactly as you want it to be treating you so far. And I seriously cannot wait to bring you all the awesome stuff we plan on bringing you this year. But before all of that, you know what I realized? It's been way too long since I have given you guys a check-in on mine and Lauren's. I'll, I'll be real at this point, perhaps, uh, perhaps it too large reptile collection, but hey, you can never have enough lizards! That's exactly right! And I do mean that, or at least I should say reptiles, because this year there has been two new additions. Two new babies that are currently both just six months old, and oh, I can't wait to show you their adorable little faces. But before we get to that, well, let's check in with those that you know about. I suppose we will start with, ironically, the mammals of the bunch in our cats, Ember and Poof, they are both doing wonderfully, they are about two and a half years old now, and they are growing and growing and growing. Ragdolls technically keep growing until they're about four years old, so they will still get a little bit bigger, and I absolutely love having them around. They are so distinctly different from each other. Poof is incredibly vocal, he constantly mouths at you for attention, and he will follow you around like a little shadow. Ember, however, pretends to be much more aloof, but if you get within reach of him, he will give you a smush that will break your hand. And by god, it's adorable! Ember, actually, in particular, recently helped us play through Stray, which, you know, was, was very kind of him. He tried desperately to find and get to the cat on the screen, searching behind the TV, and it was just... <laughs> Oh, I'm so glad that actually happened. It's the classic cat sees cat, tries to get cat that I didn't think would happen. Poof didn't care at all, but Ember really tried to rescue his fellow feline, and it was really, really sweet. So, two of the scaly members of the family. Old Man Nix is still, well, being Old Man Nix. He's like 15 years old or so at this point, but all being well, he's still got around five years left on the clock, which makes me happy because because God, I will miss him when he's gone. He gives a little hiss, a little huff when you first pick him up, but he is all back, no bite, and is so happy to just sit perfectly still on you for hours, and he makes a great video editing companion, I will tell you that much. He is just, I mean, I, look, I don't mean this in any bad way, because again, again, we, we love our old man Nix, but... He's so chunky. Like, he is rotund. It's just, ah! Oh, every time someone sees him, every time I get him out to show someone who's a guest come over to the house, the first thing they say is, my god, he is chunky, and he is. And how he's managed this on a diet of mostly blueberries, I have no idea. But there we have it. Then we have Saturn and Mars, the pair of Aki monitors that are getting along swimmingly, and they're just the most charming little guys. They are so quick, inquisitive, and they are just so much fun to handle, but by God can you not take your eye off them. They're both fully grown now, and they are, well, just getting on with it, digging tunnels through their vivarium, and generally making themselves just fantastic pets. They're so intelligent. You can just see it, they work things out, they are escape artists, unfortunately, but I wouldn't change them for the world. You can kind of see there is a little bit of a size difference. One of them, Mars, we suspect is female, the other one, Saturn, we suspect is male, which is the opposite of what we got told when they were babies, so they would have reverse names if that was the case, but that doesn't matter too much. They're a pair through and through, and it's really lovely to see them just hanging out and cuddling when they're not, you know, fighting each other over bugs and ripping them apart and bashing them against rocks and goddamn they are the most brutal eaters you will ever see. 
In any case, we then move on to the, well, as of last time I did one of these videos, new member of the collection, and that is Artemis, the Royal Oddball Python. She was a itty little bit of baby snake back when I first showed you her, and now she has done a lot of growing up. She's over three feet long, but still a couple more feet to go, and she's fully grown, but you can, I hope, definitely see, we'll call it the thick of that trunk muscle body. Seriously, you put her around your neck and you've got a living neck massage as she uh, tries to wiggle around and it's just amazing. She makes just the best accessory. No, I absolutely love her. We both do and it's great to see her growing up big and strong, even if sometimes she can be a little bit uh, <laughs> scary. You're gonna die. No, I joke. She is honestly the sweetest thing. She has never once tried to strike literally anything except the mice she's supposed to. She has never so much as even acted irritated. She handles lovely. She's so calm and inquisitive and explores. And honestly, I have never experienced a more mild-mannered, happy-to-just-relax-with-you snake than she is. And we are really, really lucky in that regard. She's doing absolutely fantastic. And I can't wait for, well, the time it comes to check in on her again with you guys when she is all fully grown. In any case, then, we go on to our two new members of uh, the Scaly family. First up, another snake by the name of Zadra, and I will give anyone 10 points if they can tell me what she is named after, and she is a baby hognose snake. Now, I would explain why they're called hognose, but you can probably tell from, uh, well, their hog nose. They've got this little upturned snout that they use for burrowing, and she indeed makes tunnels, spends most of her time underground, and, uh, oh, I just adore her. I really, really do. She uh, has her vivarium in my office, so has a lot of time watching me record videos for you guys, and that's really sweet, too. I love her little flaming racing stripe pattern on her head, and the peachy color and I love the kind of scale pattern you get on Hognose snakes. They're not like smooth like Artemis is. They really do have this proper reptilian look to them while also being just so adorable. And interestingly, they don't strike their prey really. They just kind of slither over to it and just, oh, just just kind of gum it down, just move their mouth over it. They're not really darters, as you might imagine, which is okay, because obviously they get frozen mice, because we don't feed them live animals, because that's unnecessarily cruel to the mice, and unnecessarily potentially harmful to the snake if the mouse was to scratch or fight back, which, you know, I wouldn't blame it for if it's getting eaten by a snake. In any case, here is what Zadra looks like when she's trying to desperately eat her favorite meal. I'll give you a quick warning now if you are not comfortable with seeing a snake eat a mouse, so skip to the time on screen if you don't like it. Yeah, look at it. It's so funny. Her head looks like it's made out of Play-Doh while she's eating. Like, it just warms around and ah. Oh. Oh, it is great, and it takes a while. About five minutes later, we finally get to some sort of completion, and she is just very, very happy and chuffed at the situation before she, I don't know, probably decides to try and escape, which she managed to do once, but fortunately, we uh, caught her pretty quickly, and uh, that's all well and good. Oh, and a fun little fact uh, about hoggies is because they try and burrow with their nose, it does like a digging action, so if you hold them, they'll try and burrow into your hand to find a nice little place to stay, which just feels like them nuzzling into your hand and it's just the sweetest thing. Then, our other new little baby, this time a lizard, and perhaps a more common one, though perhaps not as you've seen them, a bearded dragon. I, a while back, had a bearded dragon, I'm sure a lot of you do know, by the name of Alicia, sadly she passed away of old age, and now, well, it's really good to have another one in the house. But as you can see, this ghostly all white with the black eyes, oh, he looks so cool. Yes, this is Alto, short for Alto Stratus, a type of cloud to go along with, you know, the white cloudy look. And he, again, is only about six months old. He'll get about, well, four times as big as he is here. He really is just a tiny little baby, and I very much 
Rich um, in love with him and Lauren absolutely adores him too. He's just full of so much personality instantly. He finally learned how to use a food bowl a couple weeks ago, so you know, we're really proud of him for that, and he is getting along great. He's currently in a temporary vivarium because he's really tiny and we don't want anything to injure him or him be overwhelmed by having too much space, which can sometimes happen, but in about a month or two, once he's gotten a bit bigger, as beta dragons reach full size by about a year, we're going to move him into a proper final full size enclosure, make it all pretty and nice for him, and that'll be a lot of fun to do too, but for now, he is just getting along, growing up, and having a great time. Very relaxed and gentle in your hand already, he is so well behaved, and it's really, really endearing to see. So, there we have it, everybody. Ember, Poof, the Cats, Nyx, Blue Tongue Skink, Saturn Mars, Aki Monitors, Artemis, Ball, Python, Zadra, Hogno, Snake, and Alto, a bearded dragon, is the current, well, a roster uh, that we have going on. And honestly, I think it's a fairly complete, we're satisfied with it, happy collection. They're all really unique and fun and... I don't know why I'm even bothering saying this. You know full well next time I give you this update video, there's going to be something new because we can't help ourselves. In any case, let us know who your favorite is. Not that, of course, you know, we play favorites. We love them all equally. But you guys, you're totally at liberty to play favorites. So let us know which one catches your eye the most. And, uh, well, I will try and get another update for you guys perhaps sooner than last time. As especially with the babies growing up, they will get quite bigger quite quickly. So let me know if that's something you'd like to see again. Again. For now then, have a wonderful day, and I will see you soon. Like if you enjoyed this, subscribe and hit the bell for more. Consider supporting the future of the channel on Patreon down below. And until we meet again, a good boy. <laughs> Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos Dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes Bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement To take our insanity and turn it into entertainment Yes, I said entertainment twice To reiterate that it is nice To look into your faces on a mostly daily basis When you let us in your homes to make the whole world a stage Is, uh, goodbye